name is Piet Meijs. I'm a senior associate at uh, Rietveld Architects, New York. Uh, the architecture is very modern, very progressive. We like to use uh, high tech to describe our architecture. The way the architectural workflow is, is, is that there are always multiple architects fighting for the same job. If there are multiple choices for a client to pick, you need to give them more reasons to pick you than the other guy. Having a 3D printer separates you from the rest. The fundamental reason why you have an object 3D printer is it shows we want the best for ourselves and we want the best for our clients. So we do think that uh, we can't put a number on it because you never know which products you would not have gotten because of it. But we do think that we uh, ended up with more projects than we would have otherwise. The way we did models before in our office was uh, all done by hand and it was a, a very long and tedious process. Uh, one or two months per, for a building model was uh, nothing special. Uh, because the timeline was so long and, and the investment was fairly big for a model, the models were always done very much towards the end of, uh, of the process, of the design process. And on top of that, at the end of uh, all the work we've done, we ended up with only one model and we definitely use the 3D printer to overcome that problem because there's nothing better than to have a model of concept design at, at early stages of the project, sitting one at the desk of the investor, to have one sitting at the desk of the client, you can put one at the desk of the, the mayor. Um, so yeah, that we can print uh, multiple copies of the same model is uh, very beneficial. We also make a lot of uh, iterations of the model, not only different designs, but uh, much more importantly on different scales. Because you first have to talk about how does the design influence its surroundings. So you want to look at a bigger scale of how the massing fits in the massing of the city. The next scale up is how does the massing fit in the massing of the next door neighbors. And the next part is how is the plasticity or the massing of the building itself. And every time you go one scale bigger to zoom in more and more at the building, we even did a one-to-one -one scale model of a lamp before it went into production. And it was cheaper to have it done on the 3D printer rather than having done an actual mock-up. There is still a very much a wow factor when we come into a meeting with a model. Just uh, two weeks ago, uh, we were asked for to produce a completely redesigned plan because the program changed. We were able to be uh, at the meeting two weeks later with not only drawings, calculation, renderings, but a one to 400 model, put it on the table and saying, this is the new design. We had that done within two weeks. They, they know that they can only get that from us and not from their other architects. 3D printing is going through the exact same process as computer drawing went through 20, 30 years ago. There's people who truly believe that this is the future and there are still people out there that really don't see the use for it. And if you look at how computer drawing evolved versus hand drawing, the clients do not accept hand drawings anymore. Clients do not accept hand renderings. They only accept photorealistic renderings. And there will be a point where they will not accept anymore a model that doesn't have the detail level of the detail that we can provide them. The, the driver is not going to be the architect, the driver is going to be the client. What is it that the client wants? We uh, have the Object Eden 350. We have the printer for almost four years now. The learning curve for us was either very short or very long depending on how we look at it. We are still learning, we're still doing new things with our, with our printer. But the first productive model we actually had done the first week. It, it went over to the Netherlands and was used in a presentation. We were the only architect there with a 3D printed model and it definitely got some people looking at us. Even though the technology is already high-end, Object is still pushing to be better and that's what, how we see ourselves. We always push to be better 
and it's just nice to surround yourself with people who think the same way.